Hello, my name is Eddie Tofbick. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Services International Limited, and here is your daily technical analysis of foreign exchange markets. I'll start with the euro against the dollar. An immediate countering bearish dark cloud cover pattern on Friday. This coming after the previous session's key reversal up and bullish engulfing pattern combination. The market is still following down within the late June to mid-August bearish shift pitchfork in between the middle time below currently at 96.34 and the upper time above currently 99.33. This pitchfork is an offshoot lower from the earlier big old January to May 2021 bearish Andrews pitchfork. Now, this bare venerable pitchfork had shown the way lower for so long. Just above the upper time, we have the closely allied declining short medium moving average currently at 99.57. Looking below, we have the October 2002 low at 96.85 and below that, the August 2002 low at 96.20. These are within a widespread and somewhat diaphanous zone between 97.22 and 96.20, with a smaller zone below that between 95.23 and 95.40. Meanwhile, overhead, for what it's worth, we have the lower time, currently 98.63, of the big old broken January to May 2021 bearish Andrews pitch hawk is just above the December 2002 low at 98.55. So far today, nothing so much. Uh, looking like a possible small bullish harami right now with the base on the congestion at 97.22. Cable, aka sterling against the US dollar. A bearish harami on Friday after the bullish white soldiers of the previous two sessions. The market peaked for a second session just under the upper time, currently at 113.82, of the mid September to early October bearish shift pitchfork. Interestingly, the low was supported by the middle time, currently at 111.35, of the broken June to August bearish Andrews pitchfork. It seems this broken pitchfork is still resonating in the market despite having been broken three weeks ago. Overall, we um, still seem seemingly have little clear support until the 108.83 and 108 even areas. Whilst overhead, we have the March 2002 low at 114.70 and the October 2016 flash crash low at 114.50 as resistances. So far today, a pullback upwards with what is currently looking like a possible bullish opening white haram, white, white marabozo and bullish harami, though, as I say, it's small enough to qualify as a bullish harami right now. Euro sterling. A bullish harami on Friday, but more importantly, and despite Friday's action, last week was a weekly key reversal down. The market's base was on the rising short medium moving average, currently at 86.30 which is just above and running parallel with the lower time, currently 85.89, of the April to August bullish Andrews pitchfork and the nearby slowly rising medium moving average, currently at 85.81. The market punched through and closed over the April 2020 low at 86.69, but halted just under the April 21 high at 87.19. Price, prices actually just closed just under the lesser Fibonacci line at 86.98. Overall, we are still within the same previously mentioned bullish April to August Andrews pitchfork in between the lower time below and middle time currently at 88.58 that's above. So far today a lower open and a dip down to the short medium moving average below and up over the April 2020 low that quirkily is above but halting before last Friday's close at 86.92. Now right now we are looking at a possible indecisive spinning top. US dollar against Indian rupee. A bullish white soldier on Friday and a second close, despite the white soldier, below the lower trend line, currently 82.56 of the recent rudimentary bull channel come ascending wedge pattern. And that's currently between 82.56 and 83.66. Now I continue to have limited confidence in this pattern as it is still just a little too sleep for my liking, but it is what it is. Looking below, we have some congestion in the 81.45 to 81.50 area, but is of recent manufacture, formed over the turn of September into October. We also have the old broken upper time, currently 81.75, of the early June to early August bullish shift pitchfork emerging from within that congestion. 
I'm also not too keen on this pitchfork support right now, obviously because it's been broken in the past and will at best be a shadow of itself. Though I take the point that it may be better working in conjunction with the congestion. The only issue is that it is moving away higher from that uh, congestion at the rate of two pace a day. So far today, well, a higher open with what seems to have been an attempt up towards the broken lower trend line, but not enthusiastically and also not managing it. Well, it looks like an indecisive spinning top right now. You're still against the Brazilian Real. A quite large bullish engulfing pattern on Friday, if only just. It was quite large relative to the previous session's long-legged indecisive spinning top. Interestingly, prices closed well over the 50% Fibonacci line at 527.37 of the May 20 to April 2022 move. Prices actually ended up closing within a fairly free area between the 50% Fibonacci line at 527.37 and the 61.8% Fibonacci line of the March 21 to April 22 move at 538.13. Overall, the market is still within the late May to late August bullish shift pitchfork in between the lower time currently at 5.17.33 and the middle time currently 5.49.61. This bullish pitchfork is the current key driver here right now. Now, one other thing to note, we had a false golden cross, a brass cross if you will, on Friday of the medium moving average currently at 5.20.34 over the short medium moving average currently at 5.19.79. US dollar against the Mexican peso. A reactionary bullish white soldier on Friday, going against the previous session's key reversal down and earlier immediate countering bearish dark cloud cover pattern. We also had last week an outside week. Now prices were interestingly supported by the broken upper time currently at 1995.44 and somewhat capped by the declining short medium moving average currently at 20.05.29 with the market closing right on that uh, short medium moving average. Now going back for a moment to this bearish Andrews pitchfork is mainly redundant, um, been overtaken by the bearish shift pitchfork for the same move, especially the middle time below, currently at 1985.33. Yet I still suspect it may be significant. You see, the reason I've taken pains to highlight these two times is that in about a week and a half's time, they will cross over. And for those who know me, well, that is when I say, look out for one or more of the following. A change in trend, a reinforcement of an existing trend, and or volatility. These usually lag the crossover by a session or two, but it's worth watching out for, for what happens on or around the 28th of October. You can see the crossover within the red circle on my daily chart. In the bigger picture, the market has been base building since mid-August between roughly 1990 and about 2020, with occasional forays outside. This is still the picture with the current short-term incentive still being lower, but overall no significant feature developing in either direction, or at least that's, a, that's what I'd normally say. I'm starting to look at the action since August as a possibly having elements of a rounded bottom, such as the rising bump three weeks ago even if it is not such a great looking pattern at the moment. Now, so far today, a reactionary move lower, looking like a bearish harami right now, though moving towards a bearish double very soon. But it's still constrained between the short medium moving average overhead and the broken upper tine below. Thank you for listening. The short version broadcast gives essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted with this broadcast. Copyrights Eddie Topic and ADM Investor Service International Limited. And here comes the final bit.